Hey everybody, it is Chantal here, um, and this is my second vlog for What the Hell Vlog. Um, and I was at the salon today, and a girl walked in with her boyfriend. And first of all, let me tell you, before I begin this rant about this girl, I want to say, before you give fashion advice, you must know fashion. I'm just saying. This girl walks in, she's got a bright red plaid jacket, tan fur Ugg boots, blue jeans, and some black and white, I don't know, shirt underneath this jacket. I, I try not to look at her because it really kind of just looks like a disaster. Which, granted, she was pregnant, so maybe that's cool in pregnant land, or maybe it's all the fit, I don't know, I'm not hating on her, but she walks in and says he needs a haircut, that he wants a haircut, not can you please have a haircut, not how long of a wait, he needs a haircut. Now I feel bad for this guy, because personally, I think if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't be forced to get a haircut. Because relationships are about, I don't know, understanding and love or something like that. So, what I want to rant about is people telling people what to look like, what to say, or just who to be in general. Because that's not cool. Um, with the random, it ain't cool from Nene because I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> um... I don't get it. Like, if you think somebody you know should get a haircut or if they're asking for advice, it's different than just flat out saying, do need to get a haircut because he looks hideous. It's kind of rude. I mean, it's totally rude. It's not even kind of rude. It is totally rude. Um, so, yeah, that pissed me off because he seemed like a nice guy and she was kind of being very rude to the hairdresser, who was amazing. I loved her. Um, she did my roommate's hair, not mine. But uh, my roommate looks amazing, so she has to work magic. Um, and then I do Twitter. If anybody wants to follow me on Twitter, I will put my link in the down bar. But... I love, 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 love Blake Lewis. He's kind of unknown, unless you're a crazy American Idol fanatic like I am. Um, he was on the six seasons, which was four years ago. But he has released two dance albums since, and his Heartbreak on Vinyl was number one on the dance charts here in the U.S. Um, okay. Justin Bieber fans, these crazy 30 Second to Mars fans, stop it, okay? It's called freedom of speech and hanging out with where the hell we want to. Don't get crazy over somebody you don't even know. Come on now. Seriously, it's not like he's going to come running to you for bashing Selena. That's not going to happen. He's going to be like, oh, you're a totally great person because you just somebody who's a close friend of mine. No. She's going to get a restraining order. So, <laughs> if you want Justin Bieber to get a restraining order on you, bash his friends. Go crazy. I'm just saying, personally. <laughs> um, or, if you want a bazillion Blaker girls to come defending their artists, diss them. I'm saying... This, I'm not saying that I'm going to go crazy for somebody. Um, I had, in fact, met Blake twice. Um, and he's such a great guy to talk to. He's so sweet and so accepting of his fans that really for a fan to turn her back on him because he said he didn't like another band. Now, I mean, this is a, con this is a world. You know, it's not even just an American thing. Opinions. Opinions. It's all an opinion. Right? You can think that I'm crazy. You can think that I'm mean. You can call me 
whatever you want to call me, and that's your opinion. Okay? And you're entitled to that opinion. But at the same time, I'm entitled to mine. Now, when it comes to music, um, I personally am very, very picky. I have a very eclectic style of the music I listen to. It's such a broad range. But at the same time, I only listen to what I think is good. And I'm not going to listen to something that I think is bad. And now, obviously, 30 Seconds to Mars has a huge fan base. Huge. Um, but personally, I think Jared Leto should have stuck with acting. Just saying. My Soul Cloud Life was a great hit in the 90s. Go back to being a hit. You're a great heartthrob. Not such a great rock star. And I don't think that you should hate on somebody for saying that. And don't call me a bad person or a bad friend because I agree with a celebrity who said that. Because I'm not a bad person or a bad friend for hating a band you like. It just means we're different. Friendship... It's about the meshing of opinions. If we were all the same people, friendships would be boring. I mean, why would you want to be friends with somebody who agrees with everything you say? The beauty of friendship is that it makes you a better person. And that is all I got to say. Um, I know it's six and a half minutes of ranting, but um, I felt like I needed to do a vlog or something. And who better to talk to than the what the hell team? Okay. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> See ya.